Defender for Empon is robust security software to protect your business devices that is included within Microsoft 365. But Defender for Empon isn't always easy to set up and configure. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Defender for Empon in a nice, easy way. But before we start, a quick introduction. My name is Jonathan Edwards from Integral IT. My business looks after businesses all over the world with their Microsoft 365 and the cybersecurity. Now, Microsoft were never previously known for their security software. They used to leave that to companies like Sophos or Bitdefender. But over the last couple of years, they've made huge progress with their security software, and they have something called Defender for Endpoint. Now, Defender for Endpoint can replace your third-party security products, and it sits on every device in your business. The problem that I found with Defender for Endpoint is it's not always easy to get started to install it and to configure as some other tools. In fact, there's entire textbooks written on Defender for Endpoint. So this video is aimed at getting you started and to start enjoying the benefits of this excellent security product. But before we do that, I just want to talk about licensing. Now, licensing, as with everything with Microsoft, can sometimes be a little bit complicated. But I find this graphic explains it really well. Now, the core Microsoft product is called Defender for Endpoint, and this comes in two different flavors. There's Defender for Endpoint P1, and there's Defender for Endpoint P2. However, if your business has fewer than 300 employees, then the product that you need is actually called Defender for Business, which includes most of the features that are actually in Defender for Endpoint P2. Hope that makes sense. Now in this video, we're gonna be concentrating on the Defender for Business product. Now the Defender for Business product costs £2.50 per user per month and it includes up to five devices. So if you're someone who has a computer at work, a computer at home, and maybe even a laptop, then all your devices will be covered as part of that £2.50. However, if you're a business and you take cybersecurity seriously, then you don't want to be buying this as a standalone product. What you need to be doing is buying Microsoft 365 Business Premium. Now this costs £18.10 per user per month, but it includes everything that your business needs to collaborate and to stay secure. So in a moment, we're gonna hop onto that computer behind me and I'm gonna show you a nice, easy way to get started with Defender for Business using Intune. Now in this video, we won't be covering Defender for Servers. That will happen in a different video. So without further ado, let's jump onto that PC behind me and let's get started. So firstly, you do need global admin permissions over your Microsoft 365 tenant. So I'm logged into our tenant now with global admin. We're gonna be using two admin centers. So the first one is the security admin center. So I've launched that here. And then the second one is the endpoint manager admin center. So I've launched that here. Okay, so they're the two admin centers that we're mainly gonna be using. The first thing I usually do is set up email alerts, email notifications. We want to know when one of our devices has a problem or one of our devices has a vulnerability. So we need to set up email alerts. So we go into the security center, we scroll down and we go to settings and then we go to endpoints and then we go to email notifications. And you can see I've got two tabs here one for alerts, one for vulnerabilities. So I set up some notification rules. So I can just call this Integral IT Defender for Business Notification and click on Next. We want to include the organization name. So if you are a managed service provider or something like that, you know which organization it's coming from. We want to include the device information if possible as well. And what severities do we want to know about? So do we want informational ones where you might get sent quite a lot of emails and a lot of them might be false positives? Or do you want the specific low, medium and high? So I would choose these three here. I will click on next. You're then going to type in an email address, which I will put in our service desk. Click on add and click on next. And that's all we do for that. That's been created. 
Okay, so that's the alerts one. We also want to be notified when new vulnerabilities are found. So we click on here and click on add notification rule. We'll call this integral T vulnerabilities alert. Make sure it's activated. Click on next. So we want to know when what a new vulnerability is found and what severity threshold. Well, I'm going to choose low and up, but you can choose whichever ones you want there. Ooh, that's come off. Uh, we'll tick all these. It'd be nice to know about all those. Again, include organization name in the email. Okay, click on next and then type in your email address again, where you want the alerts to go. Click on add, click on next and click on submit. Right. So we've got our two new rules created. That's the first starting point. The next step is to look at how we onboard our devices so they can benefit from Devender for Business. Now, there's a few ways that you can do this. My personal favorite is to use Intune. Okay, so this is Intune here, Microsoft Endpoint Manager. You make sure all your devices are in here, and once they're in here, you can manage them in all kinds of ways. And one of those ways is you can manage Defender for Endpoint. So the next question, the next obvious question you might have is, well, how do I get my devices into Intune? Well, there's a couple of ways you can do that as well. So the first way is you can go to portal.azure.com, log in with a global admin, which I'll be logged in automatically here. We then want to go to Azure Active Directory. We want to scroll down here and go to Mobility and select Microsoft Intune. So you can see here where it says MDM User Scope, it says All, and MAM User Scope, it says All. That means every time we add a device to Azure Active Directory, it will automatically be enrolled in Intune. Now, if you've not done that and you've already got devices in Azure Active Directory, then you can get users to enroll their devices using the company portal. So there's a video here on YouTube how to do that. And basically, you just ask them to install the Intune company portal app and they can enroll their device that way. I will link to that video below this video. So there's a couple of options there. So the best way by far is to get the devices enrolled in Intune. And also to manage your devices in Intune, you've got to switch your setting on as well. So if you come back to the Defender screen here, scroll down to Settings, click on Endpoints, keep it at Advanced Features. And if you just scroll right down here, you can see here, Microsoft Intune Connection, that needs to be switched on. Also, if you go to the Intune Admin Center, click on Endpoint Security. And where it says here, set up Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, you can see that I've already switched these settings on. So that needs to be done and you need to save those settings. And that will enable you to manage Defender for Endpoint in the Intune Admin Center. Now, there is another way to do it as well. And if I just go back to Endpoints on here, I go down to, uh, so I'm, I'm back on Settings, I'm back in Endpoints, and I scroll down to Onboarding. You can see here it says onboard a device. Now there's a deploy, there's a few deployment methods. You can do it using group policy. So maybe if you've got a domain and servers and you still want to use Defender for Business, you can do it via group policy. You can do it using Endpoint Configuration Manager, you can VDI, but also with a local script. So up to 10 devices, you can simply download the package and you can run that on the devices. So it's up to you how you get your devices onboarded so they can start using Defender for, for business. As I said, I prefer the Intune route and we'll be concentrating on that for the rest of this video. So now back to Intune and we want to start onboarding the devices. So what the best way to do that is go to Endpoint Security and we need to create a security profile. So click on Endpoint Detection Response, create a policy, choose Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server and Endpoint Detection and Response. Click on Create. We'll call this uh, EDR policy. Okay, click on next. We've got three settings here. So the configuration package type, we're gonna choose auto from connector, sample sharing not configured. And then this one now is depreciated, this setting, so we don't need to do anything there. Click on next, scope tags default, all users, all devices, click on next. Okay, there we go, and click on create. 
Okay, so what next? Well, hopefully at this point, you should have some devices in your endpoint security. You can see this is an existing tenant, so I've got the devices here. Now, if you just go back to the overview screen here, you can see here we've got some security baselines. So as with everything when it comes to Microsoft, Microsoft gives you an easy way to do things or a slightly easy way to do things and a bit of a harder, more granular way to do things. And this is the same with Defender for Business. So what we can do, you can go down all these, which are on the left-hand side, and we can create our own policy. So I could go into antivirus, and I could create my own antivirus policy for my business. So just to show you a little bit how that would work, click on that, click on create, and call this My Business AV Policy. Now, when I click on next, you'll see it says defend. If I click on here, you'll see there's an awful lot of options. So how do you go about choosing which options are the best for your business? Well, at this point, I am going to call out a resource, and it's a resource that I've been reading lots of. This is Jeffrey Apple, and his website is jeffreyapple.nl. You can see here he has created 17 amazing blogs all about Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Now, what he does here, you can see there's all these blogs here. What he does, he goes through every setting and he gives you his advice how he configures each setting. So if you want to get really granular, hop onto Jeffrey's website and you can go through and you can select your own policies, okay? I'm not going to do that in this video. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the security baselines. If we just go back to endpoint security, you can see here, I think for a lot of small businesses, this is a nice way to do it. So in security baselines, you've got defender for endpoint baseline. So what's a baseline? These are the recommended settings that all the security experts at Microsoft have decided that most businesses need. Okay, so they've created all their recommended settings in one bundle. So they've bundled together things like antivirus, uh, attack surface reduction, firewall, all in the settings, all in one little pack. Otherwise, you're going to have to go through all these and create your own policies, which you can do if you want. But I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to create a profile based on this baseline. So I will call this the Integral IT Security Profile. I'll click on Next. And you can see here, look, if I just minimize that, We've got all those settings that I showed you in the previous screen. Okay, so if I just open this in a new tab and go to Endpoint Security, you can see we've got antivirus, disk encryption, all these settings, and we've got them all here. But the difference is here, Microsoft have configured the settings they think your business needs. Okay, and I, as I said, I think this is a good approach for most businesses. So we talk about Microsoft Defender, all the protection settings we need. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to click on next on here. I'm going to assign it to all users, all devices. You can create groups if you want, so you can have different settings for different departments or, or however you want to do it. Click on next and then click on create. And that profile has now been created. And that's essentially it. That is the easy way to configure Defender for Endpoint and all the security settings on your computers using Intune. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is all about installing Defender for Business in a nice and simple way. I look forward to seeing you again soon.